The S&P 500 was up 4.85% last week. There was not a bear to be found throughout the entire week. Really good week for the S&P 500 as far as the, the bulls are concerned. So where it's the end of the month, we're gonna go over where we finished up on the oscillators and then get into this week's operating plan. So we're gonna cover a little bit more in depth than we uh, have been lately. And so let's get right into it. First things first, 12 month momentum. The S&P 500 finished positive. It was really close to finishing negative for the month, but it did not. And so that means we're still in a risk on st uh, stature when it comes to this coming month in our longer term positions. Growth is still outpacing value and small caps are still underperforming according to large caps. And so we wanna focus on our, the growth and then we wanna focus on uh, large caps as well. So with that, let's look at the S&P 500 and then we'll talk a little bit about uh, the operating plan for this week. Here's a look at a weekly chart of the S&P 500. And a few things, three things to note right here. Number one, we held the trend line. The trend line is this black dotted line right here. Top of the trend, uh, top of the channel, excuse me, top of the channel and bottom of the channel. This is a strong buy signal right here. Here's the buy signal, this white vertical bar and the trigger if we get a price action above it. So the, that it's a very strong buy signal. That's the type that you want to see. A uh, third is that this is the second uh, leg in a pullback and it's a possible ABC correction, still a possible ABC correction. You see it right here. I've got another one that we had just the beginning of the year, uh, pretty recently an ABC correction down the A leg up B leg and down C leg again, and then the advancement. And that's basically what we could have unfolding right in front of our eyes right now. So we'll see if that case does, uh, does play out right here, but right now it looks pretty good for the, for the bulls. When it comes to the current positions in the portfolio, everything was up for the week. US dollar was up, healthcare was up, uh, technology was up, large cap was up, and growth was up for the week, US growth. So all of that looks really good. All of those, or most of those, excuse me, triggered uh, buy signals. And so that falls in line with where we are in the S&P 500. Look pretty good. And they've held up relatively well against the S&P 500. So now the question is, is what do we do this week? Of course, we're gonna continue to watch their current positions and even though we had a strong week this week in the S&P 500 and all the markets, we're going to keep our stops, adjust our, or keep our stops exactly where they are, keep a close eye on them. So it doesn't mean that it's going to continue to go up, but uh, it does look good coming into this week. So now, since we have all these buy signals and the question, if we get the triggers, which one do we take? And the answer is we're going to take the strongest one. The strongest, uh, the strongest one is the one that did not fall very far, very fall, or excuse me, very far when we had a pullback, this pullback in the market. So that particular industry is the healthcare equipment industry. That is the one that held up the best according to the ones that we watch. And so if we get a trigger this week in that one, then we will surely take it. So we have a, a quite a bit of cash on the table right now. And so we're going to take some of that, put a little bit more risk on the table and go from there. So with that, have a great week and we'll talk to you next time.